Alright guys, today we're going to talk about levels of organization. We did the activity yesterday and you guys did a really good job of organizing stuff from smallest to largest and sometimes the most basic to the most complex. Now we're going to throw some definitions at you. I want you to watch, write down what you can, but we're going to give you some time with a book to take really good notes. So everything starts with a cell. It's the smallest and most basic living of things. Some of the examples would be bone cells and nerve cells. In plants we have xylem cells and cambium cells and spongy cells. You're going to recognize these by seeing a single thing uh, in a picture. One thing by itself, usually small, lots of little stuff inside. Cells make tissues. If we take similar cells and they work together to perform a function, we get a tissue. That's a picture of a leaf close up. That's technically leaf tissue, but this part right here, that's probably some vascular tissue. So someone could make an argument that's an organ, but the picture is trying to show you a tissue. We have nerve, we have muscle tissue, nervous tissue, epithelial, and connective tissue in humans. And in plants, we have dermal, ground, and vascular. Check out this pictures. So this is what they kind of look like. You don't have to know these or memorize these in the sense that they're not going to be on a test, but they could be come up in a question or something, and we want you to be familiar with these words. So, connective, connect stuff, epithelial, like your skin and linings, muscle tissue, muscles make things move, and nervous tissue, how things get sent signals and how you feel stuff. In a plant, they have leaf tissue, or sorry, this is a leaf, this is a stem, and this is a root. There's dermal tissue, which is stuff on the outside, my, mainly for protection. We have ground tissue, which is in plants mostly for like photosynthesis and all the functions of the plant go on here. And then we have uh, vascular tissue, which is purple on these, and it's usually for transport. If we take different tissues, we get an organ, and an organ performs a specific job. So this whole leaf is an organ because it has vascular tissue that transports stuff and then it has parts of the leaf that do food production and other functions. So in animals it would be things like your brain or your intestines and in plants it's like buds and flowers and roots and tubers. Potatoes are tubers. Next we have an organ system. A group of different organs Notice I said different. Now that different, we need to stop there and think about that in a minute, but a group of different organs working together to perform a particular set of functions. Let's go back to this word different. Let's go back to this word different. By different we mean <coughs> not the same or just two, like one and another. Those are two different things because they're not the same thing, so they're different. So it doesn't have to be that they look different. It could simply be that they are two of two organs that look similar but since they're different because they're not the same thing then we've got an organ system so like this root over here and this root over here are two roots they're both roots but if we combine them together we have different organs although they're similar they create an organ system so circulatory respiratory nervous digestive we're going to spend like eight weeks on this in class and then in plants, we have things like the shoots and the roots. Finally, if we get a bunch of organ systems together, we can create an organism. that has ma It's made of cells. It can process energy. It can produce waste. And it can reproduce. And it uses gases and energy from the environment. You, me, bacteria, plants, fungi, all sorts of stuff we classify as an organism. If we go a little bit farther, a group of the same organisms living together is called a population. If we take different populations, we create a community. So you, me, your pets, we're all living in the same area. That's a community. And finally, an ecosystem, which is where it gets a little bit different because now we're adding stuff that's non-living. So that's like the rocks and the trees and the water and the sunlight. And the animals, some of those things were non-living, like the rocks and the trees. Or ro sorry, the rocks and the water. The trees are living. Sorry about that. That's an ecosystem. Okay. This is a nice picture I found this morning. So this is a neuron cell and a plant cell. Notice how it's one thing all by itself, real small. Groups of them together that are similar. So these make nervous tissue. This makes photo tissue, which would be that ground tissue. 
Here we have a nervous tissue makes a brain, part of the nervous system, and the nervous system is part of an organism. You know? Over here on the plant, the photosynthetic tissue is part of the leaf, right here, which also has the other types of tissue, so this leaf is technically an organ. The, the shoot with the leaves, that becomes an organ system, and a whole bunch of those with some roots create an organism. I hope this makes sense. We're going to give you some time with your books and a worksheet to fill in and take some notes. Thanks. Oh, just a teaser. What's that? Yep. How about this? Oh, yeah. And this? Huh, I bet you got that one right. Oh, hope you say this. Yeah. I never liked this one. What do you think it is? I'd go with that. You better get that one right. You want to keep going? You better get this one. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Be careful here. There's lots of them, so it's a yeah. Uh, I'm glad I don't look like that in the morning. Yes. Oh, careful, careful, careful. There's more than one. Correct. Um, oh, that would be yes. Yes, the skeletal system of swordfish. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that one's tough. That wasn't the proper one. You better get it right. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Oh, there's only one. That's right. Uh, that would be... Uh, oh, ooh, that looks like... There's one of them, but it's not one thing. It looks like it's got lots of stuff, so that's going to... Yes, that would be what it is. Um, ooh. Does that make you hungry? Uh, yes. All right. That's it. What? What's up, Matt? Bummer.